It's a very difficult decision. been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. What do you need? I... I... Gotcha. It's time to... Oh, this is not possible. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. What? What if... What if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean... Jesus, this is our son. I know, but we know it's here or nothing. Oh, fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. God, you fuck. I, this is I, tough. I can. I can do this. You can't. I love you, Ken, but this is beyond you. I'll do it. I'll do it. No. It should be apparent. No parent should have to do something like this. Lee's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Yeah, he's not looking good. That's pretty devastating, man. Ben better keep a good eye on Clementine, though. I'm not sure about this Chucky guy. What's happening? Duck is dying. I know. What are you doing? I'm gonna make sure he's okay. But how? He's bitten. By making sure he doesn't come back. Oh. No. Look, Clem. Things are... What the... No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. What? No. Did she kill herself? Get, get, gotcha. Wow. Why, cat? Honey. Oh, fucking God. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. <laughs> what the hell happened? What did you... She could... She, 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 oh, 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 fuck! Like this is pretty heavy. What do we do? Mm -hmm. 
Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. I don't want him to have to do that. Oh, it's even gonna make me pull the frickin' trigger. Now he lost his son and his wife. very much don't be mad why would he say that hey how you doing I don't care what reason you had for doing it no reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead because she is what I don't know much about you folks but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We do what's best for Clementine. Oh, well then, you do have it all figured out. Never mind. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. <laughs> Why cut the hair? She's a little girl. And she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before Walker does it for you. That part I do agree with. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plant, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. Whoa. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. <laughs> I mean when we get to Savannah. I got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there. About whether or not you folks want company. Yeah, because he's saying you need a plan, you need a plan, but. You're homeless then. Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and. and they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. Darn. I shot the kid, you know. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. 
You said it. Be safe up here. You betcha. I don't know, like... I still don't know what to think of this guy, but... I guess that's normal. Now can I grab this map? Mind if I get by you for a second, kitty? Can you just leave me alone? Hey. I guess I can't grab the map hey. yet. It'll be good to get to the water. It's not looking so good. Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. You mind if I look in there for a second? I really wish you'd just leave me alone. Jeez, okay, okay. Hey. Yeah? You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Care. It's the best plan. Getting on a boat would be good. Um, assuming you could fish. I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I'm sure... Cat would be, uh, okay with you. So forget it. Okay. Alright, we'll figure out a way to get him out of that chair... ...later. I was lucky enough to get it working once. For now, we'll go talk to Clem. Cut some of her long hair. Hey, Ben. Don't hey. really know a whole lot about this kid. Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. Are you gonna be able to step up? I can do just as much as anyone else. Good. I hope that's true. Gets pretty fired up. Carly didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. See ya. Yeah. This kid's totally aft for life. They look clean enough. Biggest scissors I've ever seen. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh... Tidy up a little, so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. What a crappy day. The crappiest. <laughs> three months ago, I'd known what you'd be seeing. I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You're damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. She needs company. And she needs protection. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about it. He's probably had it pretty rough. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. <laughs> I mean, with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? When you're ready to shoot, make sure you're not breathing too hard. And then hold your breath, right when you pull the trigger. Like when I'm swimming? No, just for a quick second. I found that if I did that, I was a lot more accurate. It's tough, but it'll help. I can do that. Okay. Premium LCD displays. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. 
nice and easy. Watch her. Nice and easy. Oh, nope. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Steady now. Almost got it. Okay, a little higher. Oh, not even close. Close. Now keep it steady. Steady now. Almost got it. Okay. We're gonna need to aim left. Okay. Aim a little bit more to the left. And lower. Aim lower. Boom. I got it. Good Excellent. job. Excellent. Good shot. to the left a little bit lower there, there you, you go, go. nice <laughs> there she goes I did it. yeah you did good job I was holding my breath and the gun didn't shake so much see you did good they're not walkers though no Far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh uh. Good job, Clem. We're gonna take this bottle of whiskey. I'm hoping that we can uh, give this to Kenny. It's a fifth of whiskey. My hands hurt, and my ears have noise in them. Like... <laughs> You'll get used to it. So you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. <laughs> what? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. <laughs> She's pretty funny. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. She's gonna look totally different. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Maybe on the moving train. Do you know how to do this? Might not be the best idea. Yeah, of course. I don't believe you. <laughs> well, good. Good? Means you know when someone's lying to you, which is another valuable survival skill. So you did kill someone before. Yeah. I'm glad you finally told me. Me too. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. It's good that she can kind of get over that, but... Killing is bad no matter what. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. Doesn't make it good. But you have to. I do it because it's necessary. Walkers aren't people. Okay. I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. Hair thingies. Yeah. Exactly oh, what I would so. call them. Does it look <laughs> dumb? <laughs> no. You look cute. And a lot harder to grab. I'm surprised you didn't cut it shorter, actually. Okay, let's go back up to uh, Kenny. 
I'll maybe pour him a drink and then I'll grab those maps. Or not. I'll uh, talk to you later, Kitty. It was his whiskey anyway. Maybe I should give it to him. I found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Sure. We're bonding on the front of a train. Ooh. Not known for its finish. A little kid. <laughs> That's code for a taste like balls. Mm. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Will do. Perfect. Now I can probably get Kenny out here. Then I can grab those maps. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some. Yeah. As long as he doesn't make a bad decision and, yeah. like, jump off the front of the train or something. There we go. Now I can go... Thanks. Show the maps to Clem. Hey, Ben. Hey. See you. <laughs> yeah. This guy's just kind of like a bystander. He's not really involved that much. It was me. Huh? No. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? Scratch that. It's all my fault. Jesus, Ben. I know. They said they had my friend, but he was with just, them. Just stop. Fuck. Can we even trust you? Yes. Why'd you have to go and tell me that? I just... No. Just don't tell anybody. You can't take any of it back, so don't. Okay. There's a lot of people dead because of him. You still want to talk to me? I don't have a lot of choice. Unless you're going somewhere. I... I guess I'm not. What are you doing out here? I, uh, couldn't be back there anymore. I needed some air. Anything else? I was thinking about talking to Kenny. Probably not the best time. I guess not. I'm dead serious about you keeping your mistakes to yourself. I can tell. You get why, right? I guess. You better. See ya. Other people aren't going to... to treat him the same way I just did. Not even close. Kenny would throw him off the train right now. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. Oh. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay and, well, if they're not, what happened to them. I'm sure they're okay. I think I heard them die? Jeez. Yeah, it's best to stay positive. That's what Dad always says. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. <laughs> it's called the 
Um, um, something Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Aww. Can I... It's kind of melting me a bit here. You know... Hmm... Clem, come on. That's not a good idea. You can't tell me what to do. Oh! Clementine. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Uh-oh! Alright. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far- Oh shit! Hold on everybody! Uh oh. That's not annoying. Oh wait, yeah it is. That's a lot of gas. Assuming it's fuck, still full. Fuck, 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 fuck! Maybe we could walk? That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm, I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's going to explode. You got to get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo, you keep screaming like that and you're going to get your face chewed off. Are you guys going to be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. There we go. No, we're friendly. Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. <laughs> we know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there, we won't let them escape. Okay, I'm going to take a little break here. And when we come back, we'll uh, meet up with these new strangers and see if we can trust them or not. I think we're probably getting close to the end of the third episode here. And I gotta say, this one, I think my favorite episode so far is probably episode two so far. But this one's interesting. This one kind of had me playing the detective role a little bit. And uh, we found a new guy. We had that heavy moment with Duck and his mom. So, uh, yeah, it's just very different. Very different. I'm excited to see how it goes down. I'll see you guys uh, next time. Bye.